We're here for a PMV workshop with the Northern Group um, to go through the complete process of decanting the vaccine, um, loading the gun and then vaccinating the pigeons. Um, we're going to do several ways of vaccinating the pigeons with a uh, gun and also a syringe. Going to decant the vaccine. Uh, notice we've got a fridge here um, because it's only a demonstration it's much better to take the vaccine out of the fridge, load the uh, gun, and um, and then put it straight back in the fridge. What I'm using is a Medi wipe to clean the top of the the bottle and the needle because it's not a new needle that we're using, and uh, we're going to sterilise that too. Pump some air in the bottle. Then um, we're going to probably take about 20 mil. Um, it pays to actually uh, probably put about an extra 10, 10 mil into the bottle than what you're going to use because by the time you prime the bottle, uh, and also you may sort of double dose your pigeons that the vaccine may go through the pigeon completely in, when we when we're doing the vaccination. a little while. We use an 18 gauge needle on the syringe and it's a 25 mil um, syringe. to the syringe, put that back in the fridge. the needle on, give it a bit of white too. Probably pays to warm the vaccine up for a couple of minutes so the pigeons don't get a shock. Uh, also we'll prime the gun. Sometimes you need to sort of purge it a bit. coming through now so it takes quite a few pumps but sometimes you need to um, you may have to take the gun apart and just stick a um, got some other needles here with pretty small um, you may need to sort of stick that through and get the ball bearings working in that in the gun Yeah, just sort the camera out. Uh, just put it in. You ready? So every every member of the group is going to learn to vaccinate their own pigeons. So Alex here is going to learn to vaccinate his pigeons. Uh, Alex, you see, you make a tent, yeah, yeah. You pull that skin yeah. away from the neck. Ah, uh, yeah, not 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 going the neck. Yeah, go not neck going in the neck, and, yeah. and you go sideways, and then and that's, that's it. Done. That easy. Yeah, I did that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, but remember, do not put it in the neck. the neck because that can actually kill the pigeon.
you got the make sure you can see the skin out. Yeah? Yeah. And if you go too far, it'll come out the other yeah, side yeah, when yeah. you go inside on. Takes a little while to do. It takes you a while, yeah. Right. Not like the pigeon box. Yeah, the pigeon box is quicker than this. This one is fattest. Pigeon box much quicker. Much quicker. This one's slow. What you can do too, Alex, is if you've got a spray bottle with a little bit of metho in it, yeah. you can just give it and uh, you can find the skin a bit easier. Especially when you're doing it for the first time. That's gone straight through, so give it another, go in another, yeah, give it another dose, that's it. Yeah. That's why you um, have a few extra mil than what you really need in the, in the syringe or in the gun, sorry. Right? Yeah, that's Come on, let go. Here, I found it easy when I first started to do it, you know, with the spray bottle and all. Alright, spray now. Take it with the spray. Just to find the skin. Not like that, but then it's what the box. Just has to be under the skin. Can you go across that one? Not your finger though. No. Away from the spine. We're just going to open up a new bottle, give it a bit of a shake. And probably uh, while you've got the vaccine in the fridge, uh, every month just agitate it a little bit. So we have to take this little foil cap off. Off of there. Like that. Get our medi swab again. Bit of a wipe and the needle. So what we don't want to do is contaminate the vaccine. So we pump a bit more air into it. So it'll be easier to you load the gun again. Um, if uh, you were decanting a lot of this vaccine off for the different club for the different club members, that's an old bottle. You could actually take that aluminium part off, take the rubber cap off, and um, we got we we're going to, as a club group 
are going to use these sterilised containers and going to be able to take those home, um, work out how many pigeons we, we want to do, take those home in a, um, a cooler bag with a chill block in it, take them home and put them in the fridge at home. You ready? Uh, hang on, give me two ticks and okay, away you go. Uh, we're just going to vaccinate a couple of little um, three week old babies using a, a needle and a syringe, same sort of thing. Make a tent, these are a lot easier to find the skin and just 0.5 of a mil. Okay, I'll Now we're just going to demonstrate um, without using the the uh, vaccinating cradle, um, doing it with two people at a time. Any vaccine that's left over, um, you can't put it back uh, into the, the bottle. Uh, it just basically has to get thrown away. That's why you need to measure it, the, the correct dosage that you need at the beginning of your uh, inoculation. So you just get the right stuff out of the bottle. We should dispose of our needles in a sharpskin container. Can't do that at the moment. We pull the gun apart. Um, just ordinary dishwashing liquid. Give it a swirl out. Um, squirt it through the gun. Because it's a, an oily vaccine, it takes a fair bit of cleaning the, the bottle and the gun. Just ordinary dishwashing liquid and a bit of water. gun apart. These guns have got little ball bearings in so What I like to do is then put the gun back together 
put some methylated spirits in the bottle, squirt that through and uh, then take the gun apart again and uh, I'm not going to use the metho now but take at the well at the moment anyway take, put the gun back together put some metho through and then I like to just pull it apart again completely some clean paper After you put the metho through, just pull it apart and let, let it dry.